Hi YouTube. Well, this is a video on what I wish I would have known or what I wish I would have done on my backyard chicken coops. I've had two and we are in the process of finishing up coop number three. This is coop number one. We had this at our old house. Uh, this is not what the chicken coop looked like when we purchased it at all. We've ended up uh, we built that little run. Uh, I'm using this for broody hens now, uh, but we built that run. That is not the run that it came with. And we also shingled uh, the nest box and put the shingles on the coop itself. We also had to rebuild the interior of this chicken coop. Uh, the company that sold this on uh, said that it was uh, real sturdy and it was fully treated uh, wood with, um, they said it was a uh, fur. Anyway, it's really soft wood. Um, I was afraid that raccoons would be able to pull those boards off. So we ended up lining this with plywood and making a new door on the back. A whole bunch of things we did to that coop um, to try to remedy the issues that we had on that. Um, and that brings us to the second coop that um, I built this out of, uh, I used pallets and I used the scrap lumber and I had to buy, I don't know, I think I have like 50 bucks in this or something um, because most of the, um, what I used was scrap lumber and stuff from building our house. Anyway, um, I thought I had really done a great job until I started using this and started seeing how many flaws that there were in this uh, chicken coop. Um, one being the location of where I put the coop. Uh, I didn't take advantage of the lighting or the location at all. In fact, I didn't, I hardly put any thought at all into that. Uh, the other thing I didn't think about was pred predator uh, control from overhead assaults. Um, that's why you see this darn netting all over the place. I tried CDs. I tried fish string. Um, and I ended up with this uh, deer netting, which is just horrible <laughs> stuff. Um, I catch my hair in it all the time. The squirrels jump in it. The raccoons pull it down. Um, it just it just isn't pleasant to deal with that stuff. Um, we're going to use this uh, chicken coop. As soon as we get down with the other coop, we're going to move the, um, the hens into the new coop. And we're just going to use this chicken coop for the meat chickens. Um, but I did an awful lot of, uh, design goofs on this one. Uh, the chickens go immediately from the outside mucky area into their nest boxes. So their feet are always dirty. Um, when they go into the nest boxes, I have exterior nest boxes where I can collect the eggs from outside, but during inclement weather, I get soaked collecting the eggs and the raccoons are constantly trying to get into those nest boxes. I'm always finding their little paw prints all over the outside of those nest boxes. Um, so I just, I don't like that idea at all of having the exterior nest boxes. Um, it's got to scare the hens with the uh, darn raccoons trying to get in there all the time. Uh, and the other thing is the ventilation. I have four vents on this coop and Two of them I have to block off during the winter months because of uh, the draft that it creates on the on the perches. So there was a whole lot of things I did wrong on that coop. Um, this is the new coop. We actually, huh, to save time, purchased a Costco shed. Uh, it's 8 by 14. They had it on sale this last summer. So we ordered it and... We ended up making so many changes, I think it would have just been better. We'd have been better off, um, you know, purchasing a lumber kit and building our own from scratch. Uh, we added an awful lot of two-by-fours to this. We sturdied up the the uh, trusses. We added uh, studs on the walls. Um, we reframed the front. Uh, there was supposed to be two, uh, two shed doors on it. I wanted a regular you know, pedestrian door. So we added a 36 pedestrian door. I did not have an overhang on it. So we added an overhang. Uh, I didn't like the 
way that the flooring was installed, so we changed that totally. We actually put, um, you know, uh, lifted up off the ground. We brought in a whole lot of mason, mason sand and built the uh, foundation up so that we made darn sure that we weren't going to have any drainage issues with this coop. Um, we also added uh, five windows. It came with two windows on the front of the coop by the, um, there's a little door that they have, um, just a pedestrian door. And they had two, um, like garage door, you know, or barn doors on the front, which is where our pedestrian door is now. Um, I kept a pedestrian door in the back that actually goes into the coop. The pedestrian door we added in the front actually goes into like a little storage area, work area for, um, that we divided the coop in, into so that I have my area and the hens have their area. So I will no longer have to collect eggs from the outside of the, um, of the chicken coop, which I think is very cool. Um, we also took a lot of, a uh, lot more advantage of the location of the sun. Um, and I'll go over that a little bit more in detail when I do the walkthrough with you of the new chicken coop, but we took a lot more advantage of the uh, location that we put the chicken coop in, uh, not to mention the bringing in of the mason sand. Uh, the other thing we did was we insulated the coop this time uh, and added um, added poly walls. It's a plastic polymer uh, product that they came out with that um, we put over the insulation because, as you know, chickens will eat anything just about. Um, and I didn't want them to uh, ingest any of the foam insulation we put in there. So we went over that with um, with poly walls. And on the floor we added, uh, not only do we have the three layers of wood, but we also, on top of that, we used that, um, it's shower uh, insert material. It's a plastic. And we lined the floor with that. We used plastic um, or vinyl uh trim on the inside too so it'll be uh pretty much waterproof on the inside um the other big thing uh that i wanted to address with the uh, new coop was the problem that we've had with predators <laughs> um i wanted to uh make sure that that was addressed as well as we could address it and i did not want to have to deal with any deer netting um and believe it or not, these darn turkeys um, have hurt a couple of my hens. Um, they go after them when they're free ranging. I had one of these turkeys actually um, attacked one of my hens and caused a pretty good sized gash and took out a bunch of feathers. So even the turkeys are uh, enemies of the hens. Um, not to mention these darn coyotes and the foxes that we've had. These coyotes get pretty... Uh, gutsy coming up by the house i've physically chased them and uh we're going to be dealing with them a little bit differently here soon too um the biggest my biggest pet peeve is these darn hawks um they come in and there's not there's nothing legally you can do to prevent that um it's illegal here in michigan to kill a bird of prey or to harass a bird of prey so you can't throw things at them I yell at them and I wave my hands at them, but other than that, that's about all you can do. Um, the uh, you know, the abundance of them is just mind-boggling. Um, I've seen them sitting in trees just waiting for me to let those chickens out of their out of their covered area. Um, the standing uh, the standing water here that you see in this photo is not in my chicken coop. I just wanted to show how muddy this year has been and how awful the uh, drainage is even if you're on sand you can see that this is like a sandy loam but that top two inches once it gets saturated it is nothing but slippery slimy messy stuff and that's why I had to keep putting the straw on top so that the hens didn't get um, to sit in or stand in uh, mucky a mucky mess all day um, we definitely cleared out a real nice area for the new chicken coop, taking full advantage of the, uh, sunlight. This is not where the chicken coop is going. I just thought that this was a nice picture to show 
the kinds of trees and things we have on the property. Um, I took the way we possessioned the new uh, chicken coop as I wanted to make sure that the sun could come in from the south because, as you know, winter's in Michigan, uh, and we've had some brutal winters here the last few years. So with, uh, with that being said, we definitely insulated the chicken coop this time. We have um, three layers of walls in the chicken coop, one insulation, one poly walls, and then the wood, um, the wood to the exterior and the siding. So hopefully um, we've got enough insulation and ventilation for the um, hens to be perfectly comfortable. Uh, I'm really not a fan of having to heat a chicken coop. Um, they wear down coats for goodness sake. So anyway, the, um, the chicken coop should be done in the next two weeks. If you have any, uh, any ideas, um, more so than what I've uh, presented here, please, um, I'm always uh, looking for suggestions. I think I've watched every single one of the chicken coop videos on YouTube at least twice now. Um, and I didn't see any that addressed the location, like positioning of the coop or any of that. I'll do a more in-depth walk when I do the walkthrough of the finished coop. Um, again, that'll be done within the next two weeks. We're almost done with it. Um, I finished the painting up. I have one more of the um, peaks to do. I got all the trim painted. I have to go over a couple of the um, the spots that I have to touch up, but... I'm just about done, and the run will be finished, and we'll do a video on it. But leave your comments below. Uh, I'd love to hear from what you, uh, from your experiences, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, I'll have solved the all the issues that I found so distasteful with the previous two uh, chicken coops. As always, this is Back to Basics, gal. Thanks so much for stopping by.